welcome to another episode of Outspoken with Eden Halves, where there are no holes barred. You can find this podcast every Friday at 7pm on YouTube, Apple Podcasts and Spotify. If you follow me and have followed me for a long time, I've always said if I started a podcast, who would the one person I want on there? And I have got, never underestimate... The pricey <laughs> Katie Price. Oh my goodness, I don't even know where to begin. Well, first of all, we've began with. Uh, I've got Harvey next to me, by the way. We have because he wants to sit next to me. We've come here. Luckily, it's all green in here because it's Harvey's favourite colour, and it's my favourite colour. Because oh, did you hear that, Harv? Yeah. But we got the cameras on, Harv. What do you think? Oh yeah. Yeah, you're going to be good when I do this podcast. Oh, I promise, Mum. Well, you oh. better be. I've ordered you a Zinger burger from KFC, so that, that should be all right. On the subject Lovely. of food, the first question I ask every guest, and you'll love this question, yeah. if you're on death row and it's your last ever meal, starter, main and dessert, what would you order? Starter. Oh. I'm going to say prawns for you. Do you know what? That's so weird because I would have. I was thinking the prawns. Chili, How would chili, you chili garlic that? prawns. Don't Katie, I like that? I am your number one. You're for desserts. No, you haven't got dessert, Harv. We're talking about dessert. And this is my podcast with Eden. Harvey, to. what's your favourite you dessert? You need it. Harvey, yeah. what's your favourite dessert? <laughs> you say it, Jack. No, you say it. Cheesecake. Yes. Yeah, all right. Thanks, Mum. I didn't say you were having it. I like it. Oh, I know you do. <laughs> oh, right, get lost, Harv. It's my podcast. I'm talking to Eden, not you. You're just sitting there next to Mum. All right, love you. Right, love you too. <laughs> um, Mate, so start up, maybe yeah, I do like prawns and that, yeah. Skin on or off? I don't mind, but if you've got nails and then I can't stop. If I have prawns... And you suck has, the head? Yeah, and, but I keep smelling yeah. my nails after. I'm love willing it. to smell. It's like smelling it. Like it's that. so Moorish, isn't it? It is. It's a weird, like it's fishy, but... Do you know what? I wee in the bath sometimes. I do everything. Yeah, it's you sound, warm. You're not a Gemini, are you? I'm an Aquarius. Oh, are you? I don't yeah. know an Aquarius girl. But yeah. what, what I love is what you're saying. Yeah. That is, is we all do it. Kate, do you with white thongs? Oh, my God. I don't wear I'm knickers. in a bodysuit right now. I don't wear knickers. No, I never do. Uh, unless honestly... I, unless it's for photo shoots or if you need to I wear don't wear knickers. Bed. And I was going to say that to you because I'm in a white bodysuit. Went to the toilet, bit of poo. On the back. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Is there ever not poo right, after a I've shower? I've got to say this. When I did a show last, two years ago, right, I said to the audience, and I'm going to ask you this. Yeah. Say if you're at someone's house for the first sort of time, you're at a dinner party. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And you go to the toilet. Yeah. And you don't realise, but you've scat everywhere, like shit everywhere in the toilet, and they've oh run God. out of toilet paper. I'd use my... Um, what would you use? And I'll tell you what I would Their do. towel. If they have yeah, a towel I or something. I want a towel yeah. or their curtain or the floor mat, yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah, and anything. Yeah. I once went to Starbucks and I wasn't wearing pants and I needed a wee so much. I used my top because I was wearing yes. a sports brand underneath. So you're so like me. Would you grow up, would you brought up in the outdoors? Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's I, why. I had horses, I had Same, everything. that yeah. is it. You just pee anywhere. Anyway, shit, I had worms growing yeah. up as well. I did, worms. I, I, I was did like, you took, take that strawberry milkshake they give no, you? No, I put sellotape up my bum yeah. and I took it to the doctor and he was like, we don't need to see that. No. Like, he was like, I can just give you the medication. See, it is real. Scratch and sniff, everyone <laughs> does that. Because if you don't, how do you know if you smell or not? Exactly. Like, and sometimes when it doesn't at all, I'm like, yeah, yeah. wow, go on. Yeah. Like, but most Love of the it. time, I'm like, wow, that is... I don't think you'll be hair. I reckon you shave. I shave? Or I tried waxing a few I times. I can't wax. That hurts. It's you just like, and I don't, uh, the one thing I went to, No, it makes your lips old, I reckon. Does it? Well, if you, I don't do it. But if you imagine all the times people wax, you're pulling on the lips. Yeah, what do you do? I use a Gillette. Do you? A man's razor because it's smoother. Really? <laughs> yeah. But, uh, I don't get honestly, rashes either. If I get cold... All the hair's back instantly. How does the hair down there keep you warm? No, but like goosebumps. And then like if I shave my legs, I think there's no point. Oh, I haven't, I, get goosebumps, I haven't shaved them, sorry. And they're dry, I've put no cream on You have them. light hair. We have the hair of a gruffalo. Main course, death row. My main course, it, it's out of two things. Okay, steak. Have a guess what you think. Mm. I want to say something. I want to say steak. No. I do like steak and mushrooms and tomatoes mm. and what Do you like onion? mac and cheese? Oh my god! Yes, it's I do. It's my favourite meal every birthday. I love that. If I've got a hangover and that mac and cheese, mm. I could eat. What would what would be your main course? I'm interested. Either an Indian takeaway. Or what would you get? Chicken korma. Really? Uh, boiled rice. Can you turn that down a little bit? Chicken korma, mm. and it's Harvey's favourite as well. Chicken korma, boiled rice, 
Um, extra cream with it. Oh. Bombay potato, yes. sagaloo, plain naan bread. And I like two poppadoms and two spicy poppadoms with raw onion and, and mango the chutney. sauce and the mango chutney. Mango chutney and those raw onions. I get the raw oh onions. I'm God. like, yeah, I can, do you know what? Best, I can eat raw onions. I love, I love onions. Red onion it's the has best. my heart, yeah. Dunno. What about dessert? Now, dessert, I like either mm. sponge with custard Ooh. or banoffee pie. Really? Yeah. I'm an eating mess. Are you? I love it. Love See, it. I'm not really a chocolatey mm. person, believe me. I'm or not. more savoury. I'm savoury. Yeah. Crisp sandwiches. Give me like a pepper that. army. I'm I good love, to go. I love savoury. So much. Sandwiches. At night, I love tea biscuits yeah what biscuit um i can always forget what they're called boasters are they called boasters or roasters what they're is it chocolate like? with chocolate mm. chip and ain't oh i like oh, rich tea yes but I they love... always drop they do they drop into it but it's, Until... it's exciting at yeah, the end yeah, isn't it? It is, like, yeah. Mm. and then you just eat or drink all the slush at the end see i do love my food oh it's the best um did jada tell you what happened to me in year eight no so i was in art class right and they said, do a collage of what inspires you. Everyone was doing their dead now. How old are you, by yeah. the way? I'm now 25. Oh, my Every God, you're so young. Everyone thinks I'm, I'm 40. I'm bloody mother. My main comment I get is, oh, my God, you look 40 and you're withered. You and... don't look 40. Are you jo- I'm sitting Yeah, but I've had, like, life. 10 mil in my face, 10 in the lip, right, all I'm over. I'm going to stop you doing the filler. Oh, I've, I, I'm, I'm over it now, but, like, a bit the in the lip every I'd year. say stop it. I don't have filler, but I have surgery. Do you want to know why? Why? Because I just find, for me, surgery, they cut and it's done. Because I have yeah. tried filler in the past, mm. and I just find I ended up doing yeah, filler, I look filler, like a filler, chipmunk, yeah. and then I look like a chipmunk. Yeah. When really, you're going to get wrinkles in that. And I just think, if you cut and pull, it's done. <laughs> Great advice. <laughs> Thanks, Kate. Cut and pull. Um, but I did do my lips, and I did them your three lips days ago. Just... And you can still see the pin marks in them. And yes, it bloody hurt. I need numbing cream, even for Botox. It's not the I worst. Wimp. Around the border. And you want to say, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, Ellie's so good at doing What are she you knows doing? Me now, though. I love it when you get Once that flip. it's in mm. and it numbs, it's yeah. all right. Story of my life. It, um, yeah, it hurts. Oh, it fucking hurts. But yeah, year eight, I was four, t- 12? Right. And uh, no, 11. One are you second. joking? Is it here already? Yummy. Your How burger's quick, here. The door, your food's Mine's here already. Door. What do you think? The door's not going to slam. Look really quiet. So everyone watching, our food has arrived and we are going to eat it we while we talk. Bang. It's just like, it is when you it's eat. real. There's something about your lips and your teeth that's just Do you so think orgasmic. You can yeah. go? You can go to Turkey and get these teeth. <laughs> <laughs> they have changed the fries. Because they, they knew they were shit. I bet you he won't eat them. Do you want to know why? why? Because you can see potato skins on them. Even though they're still chips. It's just... Oh, this is just amazing, everyone. Oh, how... Have you got any more gravy or mayo or anything? I've been chewing this gum for three hours. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, I haven't got... Get it in you, girl. Oh, I am. And I want to know your story in a minute because we finished it when you said age 12. Age 12. I'll tell you the story whilst you eat so you don't feel pressure. Aren't you waiting? Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Yeah. So I was 12 and they said, let's do a collage of what inspires you. Yeah. And and everyone was doing their dead nam, all that. And I did you. I covered my entire thing in you. Do you remember when you did... Um, you still got it. Well, I said to my mum, find it. And she was oh, like, oh, you've asked that's me too much. I've seen that. Do you remember you did the photo shoot in Ibiza in the sea for yes. your calendar and everyone was stood around you? Yes, Andy, Andy, um, Neil did I that. I thought you were in gold or black. Yeah, it was see-through uh, necklace. Uh, I remember it. Mm. And I um, I put that all over, I put pictures of Everyone you. Everyone was watching. But when mm. I'm doing a photo, I just look at the camera, not everyone yeah. else. But it makes you feel better. Anyway, the teacher said to me, yeah. basically, what the fuck is this? Really? You know, like, yeah, because people, your mum, like, aren't you? People either love you or hate you. Yeah. I'm the same. And um, she goes, what is this? Is this like a mockery of what we're doing? What What is this? And I said, this woman... I'll finish. Well I'll finish done. No. Anyway, yeah, so I said, this woman that I'm doing this all I about... I drumstick. I don't have them in half. I haven't got chicken drumsticks. Here, I love them. You want one more? Oh, I can't. I said she's the best marketing person you'll ever meet, the best businesswoman, and she'll be relevant for years. And that was 
10, 13 no years way. ago. And here we are now. That's weird, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and I got in so much trouble for that, Katie. I really, really did. Because, like, it's just, like, someone who inspires that? you, yeah. Oh, I love you so much. I love that. I, I am adore nuts, you. Do you know, I'm so normal, and I live... And most people out there are quite manufactured, have managed in their... Flash in the pan. Yeah, or they're manufactured to be a certain way. Whereas, you're enjoying that. Mm -hmm. I told you, and they're yummy. Rep. But what you see of me is what you get. Like, yeah. yeah. It, do you know what it is? And on social media, you don't get media trained. It just happens yeah. overnight. And I feel like media training is quite boring. Like when I watch I've people, had it. you had it. I don't even know what it is. No, I don't. And I wouldn't want it. I don't want medication for ADHD. Yeah, yeah. I don't want anything. I think I'm absolutely great. Yeah. And growing up, you were such a mu wasn't she? Like I love you. my everything. My mum as well. A Doors, you'd watch everything. I'm very lovely. Okay. I don't know how to take a compliment. I don't either. I'm so bad at it because we're so used to trolling. Yes. It's almost a comfort, isn't it, to be trolled? And then when someone's nice, you'll think, oh, no. like, oh my God, no, you've got an it? alternative you've motive. Way, yeah, I was Did just. You? Yeah, because I see so much of myself in you. Like, because the journey you're on and every the way you speak about negativity online, like on TikTok. No, Might be Stormhalf. Let me interview. Growing up, like in the industry on TikTok, I'm like the biggest villain. And then, oh, yeah. oh my god, they hate. Oh me. my god, that. What was it? Good Morning Britain. I oh, don't. Which one was that? Hello, you can't. Yeah, loose women. My favourite thing I've ever no. seen. Mind you, he only said what we. We didn't get any trouble for that, did no, we? No, but do not happen. Then he went live on Good GB. Yeah. Good Morning Britain. Yeah. And we did it live. It was during COVID. I said, I promise you won't swear. So I promise. Anyway, so we're filming it out in the garden. <laughs> and what happened? We're live on air. The wind blew and the camera fell on me. And he went, oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> like this. But what can you do? Anyone would be like, oh, what the fuck? You grew up wanting to be a nurse, didn't you? I still do. Do you know? I've That's why you've got kids. I've to um, Jess, who does my stuff, mm. to get me enrolled on the paramedic course. Because I'm, I'm definitely going to do it. You're so maternal. Oh, it's bad. Do you think because you went down, like, the reality tv thing that's why you were so you love kids so I much no i've always just like from a young age wanted a puppy a rabbit anything nurture, really nurture horses anything. i'm the same nurture. i've got four chihuahuas now and i'm like what the fuck i've got four my dressing room fucking stinks yeah and if it's raining outside shit everywhere yeah, right so anyone out there yeah. how do you train chihuahuas you can't. It's no. actually a thing. I know people with old you ones. Put their that legs up everywhere. You everywhere. You can't, Jet. I love them so much. I do. I do love them so much. Well, Sometimes they'll go outside. They will go outside. and watch telly with them around me. And yeah. I know as soon as they jump off, they're going to cock their leg up and piss. Oh, my God. All fall asleep. And I love you all so much. But the second you get up and sniff. I just know. I don't want to get up. And I'm so tired. Yeah. I'm like, oh. Yeah. I'll just yeah. clear it up when I wake up. <laughs> and it's so easy to pick <laughs> up. <laughs> oh, my God. You're so like me. That's once, exactly what I'm like. Once I was on live doing my makeup and Chai, <laughs> my dog's called Chai, and she pooed behind me. But it had been there for quite a long time. Right, so it's um, And I hadn't gone yeah. in the dressing room to do my makeup. And I was like, oh, God, there's a poo there. The amount of shit I got. Eden's house is unhygienic. Oh, I get that. She has, tanked on the he, shit last night live. And I said, so I've just got to go and clean the dog poo yeah. up, didn't I? What can I, I'm not going to stand and smell his fresh poo. He's a German shepherd puppy oh and it stinks. The last time I actually think I saw you cry is with Piers Morgan. That's, That's the only time I've ever cried on telly. You have And gone. I don't know why I cried about that, You've but an incident that happened to me in the park. Because it's awful. But the thing is, like, you've gone through so much. And if it was anyone else, if it was, I don't know, Holly Willoughby, and they'd gone through what you went in South Africa, what you've gone through yes, growing so up. I love it how you know everything. That is what you call I do research. To, yeah. But the things that have happened to you. A real life stuff. I don't make it up for attention. It is actual real events. And then some of them are harsh. You don't like you're so resilient and it's inspirational because I think if that happened to I love that we're just so, yeah. if that happened to anyone else anyone in the media that people like idolise or have never done like their shit don't stink it would be a campaign for them and oh my god this there happened is, to I you, never get to, you. do you know that's why I can't take a compliment yeah there's never I I cannot even even pinpoint any time the press have ever said anything good about me well I knew you were going to say that, Did so you? I screenshot a nice Did headline you? of you. Yeah, because I know that you just... You Are you joking? There's actually been a nice headline. Yeah, um, it says... No, I'm actually intrigued with this Katie one. Katie Price deemed best mother in the world. Let me find it. Well, I it. did win Mother of the Year 
2014 and I did win Woman of the Year at the time. But do you know what's funny? All these people would never invite me to their events now. And I, there was a Woman of the Year the other night. Oh, nothing of. And I saw it in the paper, people who turned up. Mm. And I felt like doing an Instagram or whatever with my medal saying, I actually got Mother of the Year. And guess what? I don't even get invited to these Oh, events. my God. What were we not invited to? The Pride premiere of Britain, of... I'm never invited to that. <gasps> and why was I not invited to Look, the Barbie movie? That's what I was going to talk about. I really wanted to go Katie to Katie Price dubbed the best mum in the world after poignant confession about Harvey. But everyone can see. I, everyone can see I'm a good mum. Yeah, you can't say no that. No one really slates me for my, the mum skills, but mm. everything else. What? I've never seen anything you do or read anything. Even thought, the Harvey Law, the trolling, I never even get good press for they that. They don't care, so, do they? they don't want to write good about No, me. they don't. <laughs> Why is that? And I get judged badly on that. Every Christmas I go to families' houses and give their kids presents. Do you? That's I give lovely. terminally ill um, people going in for surgery. I send them pyjamas, brand new pyjamas. No one cares that. about that. No, they don't. They won't. It's just... They it's, probably just want to slam you like they slam me. And you're, you're obviously like me, a really good person. I bet you're really oh, soft yeah. and like vulnerable. Yeah. But we put on this steel. I come out. I come across quite confident, but I. Same. No one hates me more than me. I had a major break. I ended up in the prior. Been an inpatient in the priory twice. I was watching that about you. And you're like, I really enjoyed it in the priory. Oh, do you know I know why true crime. I, I do. I love that. that. But do you know what else I enjoyed in there? No phone. Not being judged. Oh. Not having to read oh shit. God. No one saying anything bad. Mm. Like I could just relax. It was like this is what peace is. Bless. And you hear other people's stories. Yeah. And it's like I'm knowing that you're not alone. Yeah. That and that, there's mental health and all of this is like, it affects everyone in different ways and no one should ever judge just because we might look all right. Yeah. Like inside, I have so much going on, mm -hmm. so much I have to deal with. I am a survivor and people got to remember, you're all right, half, there's no door. I'm a mother of five. Mm -hmm. Some of my friends um, who want to work can't work yeah. because the childcare, all that's expensive. Mm. And I'm really trying to work. Yeah. And I still get not for it. Like, I'm doing my TikTok in the evenings. Yeah. And I'm at home and I'm with my kids in my house. And yeah. people are like, oh, has she come to this? Well, yeah, I have come to this. I'm a working mum. Why knock an opportunity to and make money? life evolves as well. Like, that's what yeah. is in... And you've always kept up with every single yes. thing. And it doesn't matter what trauma I've given, gone through. I've still been there for my kids. Your you know, mum once... To survive. My mum worries like hell. Your mum once said, and my mum asked me to ask you this, is she said, you guys don't know the Katie that I know. Yes. What would you say she thinks you are as your mum? I have... My mum would be like, Kate has a lot to deal with. Yeah. In every angle of her life. Mm. She's looked at in every angle of her life. Her life isn't nine to five. It's 24-7. Mm -hmm. Judge 24-7. She's a workaholic. She's a survivor. And... She just wants to do the best for her family and just get on with life. But there's always people in my life putting me down, wanting something, sucking something out of me. They want money, don't they? It's like, yeah, you know, mm. do you remember Sonic years ago? It was a computer yeah. game. Yeah. And every time he gets up for air, yeah. he's trying to breathe and it knocks yeah. again. I feel like that. I'm coming up, coming up. Oh, bonked on the head. Have you down. watched the Beckham series? Not yet. I want to. Is I don't really good? care about football, but the way that he speaks about trolling, he once went through something really bad. And he was just like, I just thought if the entire country can hate you and you'll be all right, I can deal with like a little bit of like shit. But I did, I did um, BBC News once and it was all, I do a series called Eat With Eden. Oh, do you? So I like every evening I eat my dinner and talk to the, it's not as frequent now, but in lockdown it was really good. But yeah, every evening, eat my dinner, talk to the camera as if they're my friend. So, so people don't like. That wasn't the door. Yeah. So people don't feel lonely in the lockdown and everything. Yeah. And I went on BBC... Have you just been slamming every door there is in existence? Oh, is that the Prosecco? Yeah, I went on BBC News to talk about it. And that was my first time ever with journalism. And they said... They asked me all about it. I spoke about it for so long. They said, oh, do you ever get trolled? I said, oh, like, I get death threats every day, but I don't give a fuck. And then the headline was, I get death threats every day. If you Google my name, it just says, I get death threats every day, BBC News. Nothing about the Eat With Eden, really. No, it was just, it's bad, isn't so it? But you know I can't what? imagine how many things now you've done. Now I've met you, mm. I am going to stick up, like, <laughs> fucking whatever for you. We need to go Kate. horse riding. I'm like, do you horse ride? Kate, I grew up with two horses. I had one skew bald called oh, Forrest. Oh, I love skew balls. Loved like, the him. skew bald, right, everyone, if you don't know, they're coloured. They're either black or white or brown and He's white. brown and so white. So is it skew bald or pie bald? I get mixed up. Is the black pie and white pie bald? Yeah. 
And then skew balls like tan and white. That's it. Oh, he was gorgeous. But I got fobbed off with a little pony as well that was always ill, so we had to oh, get rid I of them. Knew, my first source was an 18, 18 years old, 12 hand new forest, furry thing. And there was other girls in my yard who had their mums involved with perfect ponies. I was looked up. How's Wallace? I want that. Oh, Wallace is back home. You've got to ride him. He is amazing it. to There's ride. There's nothing like. You've going got to come to my house. Bring going. your 12, so we'll have eight two hours. Right no, mine now. not attack all of you. No, don't mind it. Just they're horrible. Balls. They're all horrible. They're all balls. Ball, boys, balls. Yeah, they're all but the balls. smell of horses is just. I just like, love it. Kissing the muzzle. Yeah, the muzzle with the nose. They don't know, judge, it? do they? No. And there's that moment when you're holding their face. Oh, you. Why don't you come? And I would happily, and I'll bring my fucking hat. Do and it. I love horse riding. I got to advance when I was like fifty. Oh, you've got to ride Wallace. You you have to ride him and in school. You have to go. Also, I think you get things where people are there's no talent you are uh, a dressage queen do you know one of my talents is swimming and horse riding yeah because you used to swim for sussex didn't you i did your brother. my accident oh but um horse riding is a talent you're right a dressage is so hard to do or even to ride a horse yeah. is hard yeah if that's... you put a novice someone who doesn't ride on mm. a horse they're all like this what happened to harvey's law Right, so what they're waiting it's I, I had to go to select committee and all that which i'm sure you know and now it's at the point they're trying to decide. It's gone all through it all. Mm. When does it become a criminal offence? So when people kill themselves, I've said all this. That was all in the debate. So when does it become a criminal offence? What you say? Are they instead of Harry Bow, they put Spastico with his name on it? He gets things like that. I remember I was trying to sell my pink Jeep on eBay, <laughs> and eBay got in contact and they said, "We're so sorry, we have to take your car off because their comments they were getting saying has Harvey dribbled in the back, has he lit the window and all stuff like this, oh, taking the piss out of half. Oh, we're just about to make a oh we pop. don't mind that. Listen to the pop. Goes the weasel. Ready? Pop. Goes, goes the, the weasel. weasel. <laughs> 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 All right, shut up. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I would be happy to do a camp over here. And I'm always going to stick up for you. Well, and I've, I'm going to do everything. I put up a video two years ago. There was a trend where it said, name one, say a controversial statement. Or like one sentence that will start an argument. And I just wrote, I've always loved Katie Price. And did it. Do you know, I have noticed who didn't like me. Katie Hopkins apparently has been saying nice things about me. She loves you now. Yeah. But where? How? Why? She was holding your tit in the shower in Big Brother, wasn't she? She did, actually. But then she goes on about it. But it was coming out. I was so ill in Big Brother. So ill. Still one. You know? I know. I said that to Jade. Like we watch. Yeah. Are you watching Big Brother? No, I don't watch the new one. I just want to watch oh, you I'm again. Watching it. No, I only. Watch, I, I promise you, I only watch TV if you're on it. I won't watch. Oh, you've got like... some two Greek shows coming up. What I'm doing. Hang out. You met the Queen. With Twice. Harvey? Shut Twice. up. Tell me about that. What did you say when you met the Queen, Harv? So excited. Harv, what did you say when you met the Queen? I'm not sure. Oh, God save her. You said that. hello, your... God, Majesty. That's mm. right. Do you remember meeting the Queen? Yes. What was she, it like? Why the what? fuck did you meet the Queen? It was at... Um, it was a hospital, Moorfields Hospital, None in it. Mm. and Richard Desmond at OK opened a ward up and invited the Queen. It was something like that. And I went with my mum and that... And I'm, I'm not, I'm, I don't really follow the royals or anything. I think because I live and breathe it here, it's just yeah. like, you and know. You, you are royalty. No, oh, shut up. We're going to make you massively royalty. Um, <laughs> it's like when people come, they want to see Big Ben and that. Because you live and breathe it all. It's not a yeah. big issue for me. Mm. But um, I have to say, when she entered the room, she had massive, massive aura. Really? Unbelievable. What was it like? Wow. You just could just feel the aura. You know, like... We should have been like the Queen, because my mum says she never explained, never complained. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck was, that? was that? Was that a firework Harvey, in the room, Harv? Harvey, what the <laughs> fuck was that? <laughs> oh, a fly went on that light and killed it. <laughs> Harvey, say that again. What the... <laughs> Harv, you do make me laugh. I know. You can laugh. <laughs> How does Grandad laugh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Harvey, you I love you. <laughs> What's the biggest paycheck you've ever had? The, the witch say that again. Biggest paycheck. And what for? Oh. Where you've been... Books make me a lot of money. I love your books. I'll be doing You don't write them, one. though, do you? Yeah. Do no, you? I'm doing another biography. Are you joking? Five years why since am I, the last Why one. am I picturing you as a nun? 
Because OnlyFans yeah. did a press call. <laughs> you love um, it, don't you? Controversy. Yeah, oh my God. She came out they as They probably a... thought I was going to turn it all in suspenders. Like, no. no, do the opposite. Yeah, oh, I love it Are so you, much. Why don't you do OnlyFans? Because I've got tits that touch my hips. Do you know what? Anyone, I'm not joking, because I had to ask BBC and Channel 4 if I could do it. Yeah. Because you can Google me and see it everywhere yeah. anyway. That's my past. That's how I started off. Yeah. Um, it's my evening activity. Yeah, so I, I don't go topless or anything on it and don't show any bits, but I wear I've underwear, seen them. swimwear, and I just like the pose. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Anyone can do it, and it's such another platform and a good platform. I don't think I... Do you reckon? Apt, I'd set you up. I'd even do a shoot with you. I think... Only fans. <laughs> What's the best thing that's ever happened to you? Kids. Definitely. If it's who's your If it's family, kids, I always get asked who's my You favorite. can't choose a favourite. Do you know what it is? It's not that I think... A lot of people who've got kids will understand this. Harv, do you need a wee or something? Who's just been? All right. They, they all need different attention of me, different needs. Yeah. So it's not that I, I haven't got a favourite, but Every day I have different, to deal with them different. Like Harvey, he's What's only his routine? Ever had when me. he's at home, when you wake up, because I know you have to uh, knock on the door specifically, uh, don't you? What is my routine? Do you want to know what it is? No, I do. Right. Go to the kitchen. Yeah. Right? They're all looking at me, Jade and Jet. Yeah. Go to the kitchen. Yeah. What happens in the mornings, half when you wake up? <laughs> it's like he's at a party of God knows in there. Everything's out the cupboards, eats everything. Stunning. Mess. Yeah. But he's like a ninja. Mm. He goes down there so you can't hear him. You need to put a camera in there so you can watch. Oh, don't. Do you know what happened? <laughs> oh, my God. It was with an ex and he had a camera outside. Mm. And we looked at the camera. He went out naked, right, to the car. Who, Harvey or him? Car, Harvey. Yeah, yeah. Naked in the road to look in the car to see if there's any food in it and come back in naked. <laughs> but with his autism, because it's quite common for them to just want to take clothes yeah, off, isn't this, it? No, this is another thing. Yeah. Everyone who knows me has seen Harvey naked. The thing is, I was once in, I because I was telling Kate, I'm drunk, that I did... Um, you're, no, you're not. What do you mean? I don't drink and I was just drunk out of the bottle. Um, did, what did you? How much? I was an drink? escort for disabled kids. Tax. That sounds. You know awful. when you just said yeah. that an escort, but it sounded like an <laughs> escort as in an escort. Yeah. With... Like on his final day, I had to explain to him like that's like, hard. Yeah, no. I had to yeah. say like right today you're going home. You're going to watch Toy Story because he always had Toy Story ready to go. Um, and someone new's coming. Change like yeah. the car journey home was that, awful, well. crying. And then he stopped and got out. And usually he'd go straight past his carer and didn't look at anyone. Went straight yeah. to the living room. He stopped on his driveway, and I was in the car. And I was like, he's not. Good. Sometimes he'd run yeah, away. Yeah. So I got out, and he just grabbed my hand, pulled me into the living room, and oh, like that's him saying, handed don't me the remote. Go, yeah, isn't it? to watch so, Toy Story. That's hard for you as well. I was isn't like, it? oh my god, that is so awful. I've never had to experience that with him. But the sad thing is, it's because his family couldn't afford the funding for yeah, the. Yeah, but escort. this is the thing. If anyone's got a child with. Um, complex needs, whatever, whatever, what you want to say, disabilities, whatever. There's nothing a correct word for it. I, I never no, know. No. I always say it wrong. Yeah. yeah. It's it's such a hard process, but you can get statement in. It's called the ECHP, the education form. You have to go statement in with teachers, doctors. It's such a long process, but yeah. once you get it, he gets statement in. Okay. Um. My dad once told me he drove Harvey, but I said, Dad, I can't say that to Kate because I think done. you're lying. He might have done. He said he took Harvey, he was in a bus, my dad drove a bus, and he went to like a school for blind in Seven Oaks or somewhere. Yeah, he used to go there. So they my dad did. wasn't lying. No, he did go to school in oh Seven Oh my Oaks. God, yeah, see, my dad, dad wasn't lying. Well, my no, dad was the done. driver. He would have, because Harvey didn't see much then either. But like to help people with the statement in, it is hard. And some people might say, well, I earn money, why don't I pay? It's not that. If I ever die or anything, I need to know everything's in place for him. Yeah. And it's his right. Yeah. And, like, as much as I want him at home with me, I can't be selfish. And he has to learn his independent mm. And I want him to go to college. I want him to make friends. All right, he doesn't make friends like we do because yeah. he's different. Do you know yeah. what I mean? The conversations are different. Have we become best friends, do you think? What, you and half? No, me and you. I'm, I'm definitely going to stick up for you. You're coming riding. We're going to think of campaigns and we are going to smash TikTok and just have the old bants. Absolutely. Oh, Cup of tea. Who? Like, what if we had a podcast? Then we really would be cancelled, I, I think. No, we would. Well, we will. You, Jade has been saying, because I'm new on TikTok, I don't know much about who's on it and whatever. Yeah. 
And and then Jet in the car, Snidey said, yeah, she's got more followers than you. Jet knew he was. He went, she's got more followers than you. I'm, I'm privileged that I'm sitting with someone. Are you? Who's got they all hate followers. me, so there's no point. Yeah, but some of them like me, some of them don't like me. Do you know what it is? I went viral in America. To go on with you, you all your followers. Oh, shut up. <gasps> of course. You know, Will Smith once shared my video. Did he? The Will Smith. I woke up and my sister was calling me on Alexa. I didn't even know Alexa could ring. And I was like, hello? She was like, Will Smith has shared your video on his Instagram, on his grid. What was it? Um, it was like a transition video I did. Like, you know, when people like doing this and glasses are so on. He must watch you in that. Then. Yeah, he watched it. Isn't and it's it in his camera roll. Cam no, that is... Br that is now that... Get my wife's why name. Why doesn't anyone uh, talk about that? They don't care. Because they don't care. But I think Do that's you watch Orange is the New Black? I, I've seen the advertise on Netflix. Oh, you'd love good? that. Did you watch the Dharma series? Yes, but I've watched um, all the documentaries and read all the books about it. Yeah, me too. Why do uh, we do that? Do you do that? So you love crime and that as well? Ted Bundy. Yes, with the Jeffrey Yellow Beetle. Dharma. Whenever I look at Yellow Beetle. I love it. Why do we love... Do you? I don't know, but they've got a new one on Netflix. Uh, the friend yeah it's Dumb. shit yeah, have you started it, it it's off. shit it was shit wasn't yeah, it yeah really after watching the series yeah it's just shit I didn't know you love all that as well I love that's all I like murderers it gives us comfort I think because we get trolled so much we're like well they're yeah. worse do you know what at I mean at the moment I'm watching texts when you get home have you What's watched that? that no oh my god you've got to watch it on really? Netflix really SAS who dares wins you need to go on that I've done it done it shut up I've done it no you haven't I did it to, about two years ago did you, how far did you get? I never watch it. Not even 24 hours. <laughs> oh, that's why then. That is I, didn't, I had my boobs done six weeks before I went on the show. And what did it for me? I was holding a sand uh, sand thing up. Ooh. And it was pulling. And, I, and it was three o'clock in the morning. And they woke you up. And I thought, do you know what? I said, I'll give up. I didn't care that he was shouting at me. They interrogated me with all the things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't mind any of that. Don't mind being told off. Don't mind any of that. Mm. But it was... Uh, I just wasn't fit enough. Did you feel like you were with Kim Woodburn in the jungle again? Do you remember she was like, she hates Jordan, me. you're exact. I once met her and but I was she like, said, You love the press attention. You I know it went, so well, don't That's you? your opinion. And Gina and was like, Oh my goodness, I did not think she would do that. And like, she was like, Oh, you love it. Don't pretend you don't love and, it, and Jordan. You know, it really fucking wound me up. Yeah. It's like when I was in Big Brother and Katie Hopkins, she might have said something or stuff about Harvey or she might have said something, Don't you hold your cup funny? And I went, Yeah, I suppose I do, really. You take it because so well. You just. I've got better now these days. You don't really see rants on me on yeah. social media. It's because we have ADHD, Kate. Yeah, but I've had to learn because mm. I know that when I say it, that it's what the consequences it causes Do you know me. what that is? So ADHD means we don't have the consequential part of our brain. It yes. doesn't function. So when we say stuff, we don't think there's going to be consequences mm. to what we say. You're so, isn't she like I me? Do, because I love you. Who's the closest of the kids? Like, oh, yeah. Like Junior and Princess. No, I would say, I don't know, who would you say, Jet? What? Who's closest? Like you and Bunny, Princess and Junior. Junior and Harvey. In what way? Like who, who gets on the best? Closest? Who gets on the best? I think it's quite equal, isn't it? Junior's the most distant one. Because he, he, he's in that age, isn't he, where he's cool and... Is Harvey on half term? No, because he keeps ringing me, missing me, wanting my cuddles, this, Aww. that, and I just can't. It's because I'm not driving at the minute because yeah. he, he's in Cheltenham. Mm. He, he just misses me so much that he has to come home. So I, I was going to see him, but all he wants to do, right, well, when you come home, all you want to do is what with mum? Hello? Yeah. When you come home, what do you want to do with mummy? Cuddles. Cuddles, kisses, and stroke his forehead like that, like oh, a baby. And he it's likes this on wants. his face, yeah, doesn't he? Yeah, all he wants. He wants... I can't leave him for five minutes. I walked out the door two days ago, mm. and in the kitchen, he smashed a window. Yeah. So in three days I've had him, two windows have been smashed. How many iPads? Any? Not iPads yet. Oh. It's normally a what? telly. Don't say that. Well, he's yeah. a nightmare, isn't he? When I'm not about, what's he like, Jack? Awful. He, it's just See. that's why he's sitting here with me because I can't leave him with no. anyone because he wants me. That was one of my favourite documentaries you did about. The We're Frank doing another one about the Frankie Boyle. Oh my god, nothing. He still never apologised. People like that never will. Yeah, but never do you know, will. apparently he used to work in a care home. <laughs> I've been told so whether it's true or not. But I always say. If you're born with a disability, you don't know it. They don't know any different. Like Harvey, people are ah, oh, he's like, but he doesn't know any different. Yeah, that's half. Yeah, and that's and that's all I know half. Yeah, for, and I wouldn't change him for anything. Yeah. Now someone like Frankie Boyle, 
if any of his family, wife or kids had a car accident and they were paralysed from the neck down and then he had to become their care of this, I wonder if he would then take the piss. I think they don't know the extent of the care. No, they do don't. They? No, because no, you don't let that on. people who are around me, and obviously you know because you've been yeah. around... Um, I've been around time. since I was 12. Because so I know he needs a certain knock on the door in oh, the morning. all of that routine. Yeah. If you do it wrong, how's Luke? What's the knock in the morning? Because your right, mum used to do... What's the knock? How should we do it together what you like me to do on the door? Let's do it on here. We Ready need to go together. in a minute. So let's have Ready? a nice little Harvey One, When it's a little bit on the door, like if we go on holiday and that. Should we do it for next summer? Yeah, let's do the ribbit and I'll do it with my nails. Mm -hmm. You do it as well. <laughs> One, two, three, go. Do it. One, two, three, go. And he'll know that's so. all. And you know, Harv Harvey will probably know exactly how many steps we've and taken into him. And this is what him. we call it. Shall we sing it? How it goes? One, two, three, go. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. <laughs> that's how in tune it is. Where did the frog obsession come from? Oh, fuck knows. Where did your Where did your frog obsession come from, Harv? Why do you love frogs, Harv? Because it's the best bloody animal ever. It is. <laughs> It is the best bloody animal. and ever. trains are the ba and roller coasters are the bane of my life. Does he love roller coasters? Yeah. Stop it. All he does is watch them all around. He thinks my dad's going to build him a wooden co roller coaster in the garden and ask him every Christmas. Have you been on a roller coaster, Harvey? No, yes, you have. Oh, <laughs> what, what's he it gone has. on? But now he can't fit on it, can you, Harvey? He can't fit on the roller coasters at the moment, can you? Mm. Why not? You can't fit in the seat belts. You can't fit in the seat belts, can you? No. Why not? You have to be healthy. Have to be healthy and then you'll lose your Santa belly. Oh, yeah, Mum. Yeah, so the last time I took him on, it was so sad. We're on it and no, it's the belt and he had to come off and he didn't understand oh, why, shit. but he knows now. Oh, so I'm like, if you eat healthy and lose the belly, no. go on a roller coaster. I watch you too. I've, it's really weird to talk back because I'm used to watching TV. Do you think? So, yeah. Right, like, this is a question. Hey, I love might you so much. I don't think you understand. Do you think I'm the same on camera as off? Like, now you've met me, like, <laughs> yes. is there any faintness on it? Yeah. Oh, it's dark outside. Anyway, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, <laughs> please make sure you give it a five star review. If you want to see a part two, you will. You will. 